Hi boys and girls, we're continuing our stories about kindness and today we're going to talk about bullies. A bully is someone who does not make good choices and wants to make us feel not so great about ourselves. Maybe they use mean words or maybe they do things that are not so nice and they make us feel kind of sad and kind of upset. So Howard B. Wigglebottom is going to learn about how to deal with bullies. It can be a bully at school or at home or on the playground or even on your soccer team. But Howard B. is going to learn that no matter how bad or yucky he feels, it's important for him to let someone know when he's feeling down or when someone is making him feel sad. Howard B. Wigglebottom Learns About Bullies, written by Howard Binko and Susan Cornelson. Sunday night, Howard B. Wigglebottom could not fall asleep. He was very scared. He could hear a little voice in his head, be brave, be bold, a teacher must be told. He knew that tomorrow morning he would once again come face to face with the scary. <gasps> Fist punching, name calling, worm whipping, tongue wagging, foot stomping, snorting twins. Uh oh. The Snorton twins were, you guessed it, push you down, steal your lunch, make you eat worms, the worst kind of bullies. That is, when no teacher was looking, of course. The Snortons felt big and important when they made others feel small and scared. Howard was tired of feeling small and afraid all the time. The little voice in his head said again, be bold, be brave, a teacher must be told. Howard didn't tell anyone. He was too afraid of being called a tattletale or a snitch. Even worse, he was scared about what the Snorton twins might do to him. Be brave, be bold, a teacher must be told. On Monday, Howard thought, I will wear a cloak that makes me invisible. When I walk right past them, they will never see me. I'll be okay. I'll be safe. But on Monday, the Snorton twins bullied him and ate his lunch. Be brave, be bold. A teacher must be told. On Tuesday, Howard thought, I will wear my special shoes. I will run like the wind high above the trees. The Snortons will never catch me. I'll be okay. I'll be safe. But on Tuesday, it was not very windy. The Snorton twins bullied him, ate his lunch, and took his shoes. Be brave, be bold. A teacher must be told. On Wednesday, Howard thought, I will wear my jacket, which transforms me into Robo Rabbit with superpowers. I'll twirl and hurl them up into outer space. I'll be okay. I'll be safe. But on Wednesday, the Snorton twins bullied him, ate his lunch, and took his jacket. Be brave. Be bold. A teacher must be told. On Thursday, Howard, th Howard thought, I will wear my funny hat and be Howard the hilarious, Mr. Funny Bunny. I will use my quick wit and make them like me. I'll be okay. I'll be safe. But on Tuesday, the Snorton twins didn't think he was all that funny or smart. They bullied him, ate his lunch, and took his hat. Oh, Howard. By Friday, Howard was hungry, tired, and out of ideas. He decided he would give the twins whatever they wanted and just try not to get hurt. On the way to school, 
Howard overheard the twins arguing and fighting. Give me the shoes and the jacket. You said I could wear them, shouted Norton Snorton. No, I didn't. Here, take the hat, you stubby-legged short boy, yelled his sister. I'm not short, Norton Snorton yelled back, standing on his tiptoes. Yes, you are, she yelled back, puffing out her chest, hands on hips, looking down on her brother. The Snorton twins puffed and puffed their chest so huge that they floated up in the sky like balloons. Howard watched in amazement as the two drifted away. He could barely hear them calling each other's names as they skipped, as he skipped all the way to school. Okay, okay, Howard's imagination did get the best of him. On Friday, what really happened was the Snorton twins beat each other up and they didn't notice Howard at all. By the time he got to school, Howard knew what he had to do for his sake and for the Snortons. The voice in his head had been right all along. Be brave, be bold, my teacher must be told. And so Howard told his teacher, who told the principal, who told Mr. and Mrs. Snorton. On Friday night, while the Snorton twins were in big, big trouble and learning an important lesson, Howard snuggled into bed and whispered softly to himself, I was brave and bold when my teacher was finally told. I am okay. I am safe. Then he drifted off into a deep, peaceful sleep. The end.